everyone. Welcome to another episode of Excel and Excel where we talk about tips and tricks on how you can use Excel and excel in it. So I am Coach Hobby and this is our video for today. Our discussion will be about calculating night differential hours and it's about those shifts na tumatawid siya to a certain point na magkakaroon ng night differential for some employees. Now, this is this may vary depend sa company nyo or sa industry nyo, pero let's talk about how we can calculate those hours sa video na ito. So, we have here our Excel file. So, una sa lahat, let's discuss a little bit about date and time. Date and time kasi sa Excel, it has a numerical value. For example, over here, we have the columns E and F. Kapag um, tinranslate natin yung mga values na nandito into number format, ganito siyang mag appear Ang days natin are whole numbers. You can see here, ang Feb 14, 2021 ay 44,241. 44,242 naman ang equivalent ng February 15. So, for each passing day, one value of one yung nadadagdag. So, ibig sabihin, ang time is a fraction of a day. Mas malapit siya sa 12 midnight, mas malapit siya sa value of one, and um, habang mas maaga, lumiliit yung value na yun. As you can see here, yung ating 9pm ay 0.88 at ang ating 3am naman ay 0.13. So, habang lumalayo ang oras, habang bumili pa siya sa isang araw, tumataas yung uh, fraction na yan or yung decimal value na yan. So, ibig sabihin, kapag ikakalculate natin ang night differential, meron dapat kukuha tayo ng bracket or yung isang period sa pagitan ng shift na mag apply yung ating night differential. And ang first way para makakalculate niyo yung uh, added bonus sa salary is to una, calculate muna natin yung number of hours. Anong part dun sa shift yung nagpo-fall under dun sa bracket na eligible for night diff. So here we have our um, date and time in, date and time out. Again, this is for those instances na given yung date and time. Pag given ang date and time, we can just outrightly subtract it. Maintindihan ng Excel ng maayos yan. But if hindi, and you use Excel, tapos mas maliit yung value, which is kunyari 3 a.m. sa 9 p.m., pag yung, yung 0.13 minus 0.88 na value and time siya, magkakaroon ka ng error. So, hindi siya mag-work. So, mas maganda kung meron kang date value. Ngayon, um, if hindi kayo nag-keep nag -keep track ng date and instead sa inyong log file ay time lang, meron pa isang way to do that. Puntahan natin yon sa uh, latter part ng video na to. Pero dito muna sa sa first discussion natin. When we use if formulas calculation, you have to make sure na meron, meron date and time para mas mag-work siya ng ganito. If not, mas marami kasing if conditions. mag if pa tayo kung lesser, uh, mag-add ng plus one and stuff like that. Okay, may full discussion tayo ng if formulas and nasa playlist natin yun. So, if you haven't checked that out yet, check out nyo na lang para mas maintindihan nyo yung logic behind the formula. However, to get straight to the point, dahil night diff ang ating calculation, gagawin natin, kukunin muna natin yung part dun sa buong shift ng person, yung start and end ng kanyang shift, kunin natin yung part na hindi pasok sa night diff. Kasi yung night diff naman magkakadikit yan eh. 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. Yun yung nasa sample natin, no? Um, so, tatanggal natin yung butal dun sa before, mag-kick in yung night diff, tsaka after matapos yung night diff. So, ibig sabihin, kunin natin total number of hours. Ito, so, sinabtrack lang natin yung end ng shift niya, yung time out niya, minus yung time in niya, times 24. Kasi since we get a fraction of a day, times 24 natin siya to get the number of hours. If you want to get the number of minutes, mumultiply mo pa siya by another 60. Okay? So, now that we have our total number of hours, compute naman natin yung regular hours. Ibig sabihin, ito yung portion na hindi nag-kick in or hindi nag apply yung night diff. Okay? And for this uh, version of our formula, we will be using the if formula. So, dalawang parts yan. Yung if formula, dun sa before mag-kick in yung night diff, tsaka if formula after ng night diff. So, kunin mo natin itong isang part. So, itong part na to is actually the part dun sa bago magkaroon ng night differential. So, yung for the first part natin, 
gamit natin yung formula if, then open parenthesis, yung first condition natin or yung test natin is B4 minus B7. Ibig sabihin, yung kanyang start ng kick ng night diff minus yung time in niya is greater than zero. Kung ganun, magka-calculate yung night shift minus the time in. Pag hindi, zero. Bakit ganun yung logic? Kasi ganito. Um, kung mas late yung start ng night night diff dun sa nag-time in siya, ibig may butal. Diba? Kasi kung nag-start ng 9pm yung night diff, tas 7pm nag-time in na siya, ibig sabihin yung 7 to 8, 8 to 9, yung 2 hours na yun, wala pang night diff. Pero kung 10 siya nag-start, dapat walang regular hour. So, dapat zero. So, yun yung logic behind it. So, it's the same formula na gagawin din naman natin dito naman sa time out. Okay? So, kunin natin yung portion ng formula na yun. Ito naman siya. Pero this one is multiply natin by 24 to get the number of hours. And you can see, ito naman, ang kinalculate nyo naman is baliktad, C7 minus C4. Ibig sabihin, dapat mas later yung kanyang time out dun sa end ng night shift para magkaroon ng regular hours. Again, it's basically the same thing, same logical pattern, pero interchange lang siya. Kasi again, ang kinukuha natin yung sobra sa kabilang araw and yung kulang sa day before. Okay? Ganun siya. And if i-add natin yan, makukuha natin yung regular hours. So, the night differential hours will simply be yung total hours minus yung regular hours mo. And we'll, we'll have our hours na merong night differential. Now, if you don't keep track of your days or your dates, you can use mod kung wala kayong date. Kahit Valentine's. Um, you can use mod. It's good enough kung regular naman ang ating uh, schedule and talagang hindi naman siya lumalampas ng isang cycle. You can use mod and open parentheses, isubtract lang natin. Ngayon, when computing to total hours, subtract lang natin yung C5, itong 1 a.m. minus 10 p.m. comma, ang ating divisor is 1. And then, close parentheses times 24 para makuha yung number of hours equivalent. And you can see, meron na tayong value. Pero it defaults to a time equivalent. That is why you have to go to format cells here. Or kahit sa taas lang sa ating format na tab, you can go to or your number and go to general or number para lang mag-translate siya into a number or a value like this instead na naka-time siya. So, now that we have our total hours, then we can start analyzing yung ating regular hours. The same way na ginawa natin sa ifs formula. Pero mod ang gagamitin natin. Kaya, let me just fix this. Gawin natin siyang earlier than the start of the night diff. And then, gawin natin tong later than the start of the night diff. Gawin natin 8 to 5. And you can see, naging 9 na siya. Sa regular hours natin, again, two parts siya. So, i-add mo yung, yung part before the, sh the night shift starts or night diff starts and the part after. So, this part, muna tayo, yung first part niya. This is basically if, another if condition, again, dapat mas later or mas malaki yung ating um, night na start. So, dapat if yung time in niya is less, is earlier than the start ng night diff, then you will apply the mod formula. So, uh, calculating. So, isa-subtract mo lang ulit. Tapos, comma divisor is 1. Same thing. Same logic kanina times 24. If not, 0. Okay? Now, if you use V15 is greater than V14, papalik ta rin mo lang siya. 0 muna bago yung mod. Okay? Ganun siya. Kasi, your first part is um, condition. Second is value of true. Third is value of false. Okay? So, this is our time before it kicks in. Doon naman tayo sa time after it kicks in. So, kunin natin yung second part ng ating formula. Dito naman, again, it's just the other way around. Mas lesser yung ating C14, which is yung, yung end ng ating night diff. If it's less, then it will calculate the difference. If it's not, zero. Kasi ang iniiwasan natin is magkaroon siya ng negative value. Diba? Pag inad natin. So now that we have that, pag kinumbay natin siya, ito siya, 3. Then we have the 3 regular hours. Tanggalin lang natin siya sa total number of hours. We have yun yung hours na nag apply yung night diff. So, if we have to combine it all sa isang cell, kunin lang natin itong part ng total hours. Copy lang natin yan. So, we have our total hours. 
And then, isa-subtract natin yung regular hours. Kunin natin yung formula na to. Ilagay natin siya dito. Sige, lagay natin parenthesis para mas malinaw. Yung parts. So, ito yung total hours minus yung formula natin for computing. Tanggalin natin tong equals dyan. Ayan, lagay natin sa parenthesis. And this one, i-convert natin into a number. You can see, we have 6 na. So, this will be your formula. This is the whole formula for computing your night differential in hours using mod. Okay? So, yeah. I hope you guys learned something new sa ating discussion today. And, um, again, thank you sa nag-request na itong video na to. If you have any requests, lagay nyo lang sa comment section para mabalikan ko kayo with another video. Um, if you want other extra lessons, meron tayong full playlist dito sa YouTube. And, um, if you want to learn more, we conduct live lessons on weekends sa ating Facebook page. And we also have a lot of videos. We post almost every day ng quick tips sa ating TikTok page. So if you haven't follow, followed that, uh, Coach Hobby lang yung handle natin. We have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. And uh, yeah, so thank you for learning with me. And um, we can only just try to be better versions of ourselves. Be better today than you were yesterday. See you sa next ating video. God bless and yeah, excellent, excellent.